Hello, hello again and welcome to another tutorial in uh, the re repair and uh, lenses and cameras. And this time I have one of my friends have this one with a lot of fungus and uh, I would like to maybe try to remove it. The lens is a Mamiya uh, Seiko Z and it's a 180 millimeter. 4.5 and a W dash N. Well, so let's have a look inside. See what we can do about it. So, <clears throat> uh, if we put a torch through it, well, the lens looks okay. Well, <laughs> you can see, probably you can see some stuff in here. But if we put a, a torch through it, you will see a lot of dirt, I mean, really. Well, there is a lot of dirt, but there is also a real fungus on the lens element. Somewhere inside. So, I really would like to try to remove it as much as I can. So, um, hang on. <clears throat> I think it will be very interesting. So, so we need some tools. Probably some lens spinner, which is actually old compasses, um, which I have filed the the tip, um, so it can be used for working with lens. This is really old, adjustable. This is the same. I simply file the each end so it can fit into the notch on. The retaining ring or lens uh, retaining ring it can also be used on different cameras <clears throat> we need some cleaning pad I mean abrasive non abrasive wipes uh, which I use uh, the peg pad which I like there are many different brands but uh, well we will need, need a um, lens blower and we will need some chemical stuff. First of all, the hydrogen peroxide, 3%, which you can get on the apotheque, I would guess. Um, and we also will need some lighter fluid. This is a brand called Sibo, but you can use whatever uh, you want since it's lighter fluid. That's important. We Probably will also need some um, nail polish remover with acetone to probably, well, let's see how it will go to loosen the retaining ring that holds the um, the lens element. We can also use some cotton buds, uh, which can be very handy, <clears throat> and a small tweezer will also be very handy in some cases. Well, <clears throat> to when cleaning the lens element here, I put it on my desk. Uh, I use those those uh, rubber um, tools which you can buy on Amazon or eBay. They are many different size, so uh, some of them I have simply modified to work. Uh, I mean to work with. When working with lenses so <clears throat> let's begin to go into it well if you do not have those uh, rubber tools um, okay this one is also very handy this is from Japan hobby tool with uh, there are six different uh, tubes with uh, actually 12 different size it's a very very good tool. I can really recommend it. This. So first we need to take off the the uh, the front uh, cone here that is just a cover. So for that I will use this um, rubber tool here. Well, if I really not have those rubber tool at all, I could. <laughs> I could go to the plumbing section in the hardware store and buy one of those is a kind of a gasket which is 85 millimeter 
and uh, it's not straight but it can also be used for working with lenses here at least the front here so I will begin with that it's sticky so it will be easy and you will have a good grip when working with it and I put my watch uh, in the corner here just so we have an idea how long will it actually take to do this job <clears throat> uh, now the next thing is um, the front lens group here which I also need to take off and probably can do with this one no it's a bit too this is a bit too big uh, I mean the front here well it could be if I do so put it over or I could do maybe so here put this on no it's not really good well let's see if it can be there are many different options when yeah it's too sticky so <clears throat> I will try with the this one instead see how it will go <clears throat> one of the rubber tools here just to see if it's possible to <clears throat> no it will not well last option is actually <clears throat> my uh, lens tool here some of those uh, lens group they can sit pretty tight so one need to have a good um, a good tool to <clears throat> work with and let's see how we can actually adjust it to fit perfect so something like that <clears throat> and let's see how it will go here <clears throat> wow oh it was tight and out the lens screw come here so this is the front lens group and uh, let's see how it will go I mean it's not as I see it uh, it's not really necessary to fully disassemble I mean take out the the front lens element uh, take that out because if you look here it's the front there's a there is a lot of dust so it's not that hard it's more on the inside here so the the um, <clears throat> the concave uh, lens surface here that would be the the problem so if I try to to just clean the inside here which is actually most very normal where the fungus is but I need a stand to put it on just to be safe when working with it will this work mm, maybe well we'll see and then time to clean so I will simply use uh, a peg pad here to actually uh, put some um, oh, come out little fellow to actually add a little uh, hydrogen peroxide on the peg pad here and uh, there's no need for suck uh, to fully uh, put this into a container with the hydrogen peroxide there's not that much so I will only add a little um, so we can see how it will actually go 
so add some here so the the wipe here is actually wet some of the uh, so in some lenses the it could be a problem because of the black ink on the edge here that could be a problem um, in other lenses it's not a problem it will just uh, stay there so do not use too much of it so this is just um, hydrogen peroxide on the wipe and for me it actually looks much better but uh, I simply need to use some um, lighter fluid to clean the, the do the final cleaning so I will use another one so there and then add a little and we probably have to do it twice so just in the corner here add some of this amazing stuff and then move around and out okay there is a huge difference in in this uh, in this case <laughs> and i think it's so interesting every time i do it it's uh, just I mean the the fungus was there before but it's gone I mean really gone away so it's only the the front surface uh, which there are some um, some dust and dirt on so maybe I should just try to take out the the lens element so I can go to the very edge of the lens so everything can come away and for that I will again use my uh, lens tool here it could be I mean in some lenses the retaining ring is uh, actually locked in place with the um, with the uh, nail I mean some thread lock so let's see if it uh, can be possible to unscrew it with a cone here no not not easy so I will just use my uh, my lens tool here to unscrew it Just it here, so there, <clears throat> and then have a good grip, and let's see how it will. It's a tight, so therefore I will use some nails, nail polish remover here, and uh, hopefully can get it to with a uh, cutting butt and let's see how it will work so just let it suck into the thread we'll have another go it evaporate the the lighter fluid i mean the <laughs> nail polish remover will uh, really evaporate very quickly so one here, one have to be quickly when add this stuff. So let it sit a little, just a, maybe a half a minute. I mean half, <laughs> thirty seconds. Uh, would be it would be enough to to actually uh, soften the thread lock in here. So there and we will do another go 
and <clears throat> so and it comes free that's great Now the retaining ring is almost fully unscrewed, so there. And there was uh, actually signs of um, they have used some thread lock. So, and if we can pop it out. So, and it's it's really really tight, I would guess. <laughs> it's really. Hmm, come on. Well, I could I could have used a lens sucker, but um, so here it is, and it looks really fine in there so there's nothing I mean there is no idea of uh, cleaning a lens that that looks really fine so on with this and then I will just clean the lens surface with some some uh, hydrogen peroxide And then do the final cleaning with lighter fluid. So there. And then do it with some lighter fluid. there and now it's actually difficult to see any sign of of dirt and dust and something else which could be a problem so how does it look hmm great magnification but to me it looks it looks fine uh, oh it's difficult to see through it yeah my light my my torch here is actually very dirty so but the lens it's fine so I can just put it in again and say that's fine in this situation And then put it in. It's better to turn it over and push it up instead of that. Let the lens element um, go down. Oh, there was some fingerprint here. Mm -hmm. Not good. And then I can just add the the uh, retaining ring here again and say that's fine. So you see, it's not that difficult to to work uh, with and clean a lens with the with the right tool. So there. And that's fine. There's some small hair in here. Away with that. 
So now the, the lens looks like it was new. <coughs> and now to the back lens group in here. Oh, let me just wait for that. <coughs> it sits very deep, so one needs to have a, um, a long lens tool like this. And there are also two notches in here, which I need to catch. And adjust my so. It works pretty good. So there. And then try to unscrew it. It can sometimes be a little difficult to so I think it's fine and then unscrew it. <coughs> it was easier <coughs> than the other one. And uh, maybe I have a rubber tool that can come down and maybe, uh, oh, this one maybe can come in and unscrew it. So this is why it, it's very important to have some, some of those uh, rubber tools. So, and it's free. Turn it over and then the lens group will come out. And then there's also a lot of fungus sits on the back here. You probably can see here. <coughs> so I will hope I can uh, really clean that and for that I will <coughs> also use a uh, some nail polish remover to soften the the thread lock here it's not really much uh, but sometimes they add a lot of it so we just do it again So there, and it's just sit a few seconds, so hopefully it will be fine. <clears throat> and can I actually unscrew this with a rubber tool? Probably, maybe. It has the right size. <clears throat> sits tight hmm. well <clears throat> well just use a lens tool and so it sits not it doesn't have to sit too tight in the notch um, so there Wow. <laughs> so therefore you see it's very good to use uh, nail, I mean, yeah, nail polish remover <laughs> uh, to soften the thread lock. Because if not, you can probably uh, scratch the lens or the, um, or the retaining ring here. Now this the back lens here is, as I see it, one lens element. So we can just see if I can pop it out. Yeah, it comes here. Yeah, I think it's, it's one lens element. 
So, well, <coughs> it's a cemented lens. So it looks like this one here with the uh, the convex surface towards the back to the camera and the front here uh, of the lens is completely flat so one need to actually clean this and see how good it will be and I also clean the back lens uh, the back of the lens group here also seems to be not so good but there's more on the in inside here which is the problem so uh, but let's do some cleaning <laughs> very interesting stuff I think so just need to put it on something uh, that will not scratch the lens element and let's see how it will go <clears throat> so I will add some uh, hydrogen peroxide 3% and let's see how it will be move it around don't just put a light pressure on it I think it will be enough in most cases so that's it and then I will use the uh, lighter fluid to do the final cleaning and hopefully it will be good okay it needs another go there and then I have a completely clean surface that's just amazing now turn it over and uh, we will do <laughs> do the same on the uh, on the back of the lens element lens group to see how good it will be It will not damage coating at all. The coating is much harder than you think. So, and then we will do the final cleaning here. So there. There's still something on the edge, but it's actually from the retaining ring. It's not from any other stuff. <clears throat> Just do it again, so. And here we are. So let's see how good is it actually after this treatment there could be something else but uh, I mean to me it's actually <laughs> very good there's still a, something in here maybe it's need another go with the hydrogen peroxide and um, so we'll just try it again see how because there could be something on that not come off in the first time and you can actually put a, a harder pressure on the uh, lens tissue it will not harm the um, the coating at all so 
go over there. Yeah. It's better. It's not a new lens, <laughs> but uh, it's just amazing how to see how much one can do with simple chemical. Yeah. There's still some fragments of uh, of the uh, fungus, but it's really, really, really nothing. So, so let's say it's actually fine. Much, much better than expect. Than I expect. So, so let's put it in. Um, well, there could be some fungus on the inside here or on the edge. <clears throat> so, uh, I we can also move. I mean, remove that as much as possible. So there, and have a final lens tissue, and say, that's actually fine. For now. to blow all those small hairs and stuff away and say that's fine so I will just put it the uh, the tube here over it's really tight fit So there, so that's fine. And then add the retaining ring and tighten it. <coughs> so, and now it's actually fine. <coughs> I mean, to me, compared to what it was, it's much, much better. That's just some small hair. So, and I will simply just put it in again, as it was. Where is my tool here? and hopefully put it correct in there try to catch the thread it can sometimes be a little difficult so there it is and simply screw it in And then tighten the the back lens group here. Oh. Try to catch the the uh, two notches in there, and then tighten it. And it's now the 
front lens group comes in and then we only need to put on the plastic front so there and also tighten that and I can just use a rubber lens tool to tighten it maybe I have to go into it sooner I don't know so there it is and then add the uh, the cone the front cone here oh catch the thread so it is and need a rubber tool to simply put it on again and then tighten it so it is now the lens looks like it was well <laughs> not new but i mean it's so much better as you can see no fungus so <clears throat> That was actually that, so hope you can use the info about this lens and uh, how to actually clean your your lens uh, from fungus. So that's all, bye bye.